Well, hello Libra and welcome back to Peony Lore where we help you to find the beauty in all things. This is going to serve for all Libra, sun, moon, and rising from the period of today, if you see it through this weekend, through the energy of June of the 12th. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Um, May was a rough month for me personally, <laughs> so I am very happy to be back to offer um, the messages from Archangel Zuriel to you. Um, as we have done before, we are going to use the Sacred Geometry deck to gather the actual baseline energy. Zuriel wanted me to use the Thoth Thoreau deck, so that is the deck that we're going to use for the main spread. We will use the um, White Sage Tarot for any clarifiers. We will use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun um, as well. And then we have the Angel Guide, and we also have Angel Therapy as the final cards that we will use in this particular spread okay at the end we will go back through the sacred geometry and we will take the details uh, activations and any crystal medicine or other messages within that card should i not be able to speak to it immediately here okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right in with our well there we are our cards the first card is clarity needing to stay clear and focused card 34 reduces down to a seven which is usually about spirituality um, and then we have a frequency card, which is very interesting. Frequency card number 23 reduces down to a five, which is indicating some significant change. And the change um, is that you need to be, this is very much root chakra energy that I'm getting right here. 174 hertz is what is being um, asked for you to be able to tune into in that your body is safe and loved all about that root chakra okay so there's some change that's happening and anytime we go through a major change um, first thing that people do is um, stress and fear about that change that's not something that you need to be able to do however you do need to be able to understand that um, the frequency hertz that comes through is something that will help your physical, uh, mental, emotional, and auric state uh, so that you can be at peace with whatever this transition is. So let's just jump right in and get to it. Again, um, this first card that I'm going to pull through is going to be about any prior energies up into this current day. And then we will do a full spread for every single day of next week. Okay, so hopefully you've been navigating all of these energies to the best of your ability. Pluto in retrograde still, um, Saturn in retrograde still, Mercury in retrograde. <laughs> We just went through the big full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, and now this upcoming Thursday, we have the solar um, eclipse in the new moon in Gemini, that ring of fire. There will not be another solar eclipse for another three years, so this is kind of a big deal, and these retrograde periods are all in alignment for a specific reason, and that is to get people ready to change um, and understand where they're at with their renewal and transformation with Pluto, that Scorpio energy, that Saturn in retrograde, your commitment to where you're at with your success level, and Mercury in retrograde asking you to review, um, readdress, and relax um, into anything so that you can finalize it, that that full lunar eclipse that we had in Sagittarius was all about your communication and the perspective of where you're at, okay? Speaking your truth in a sense. Um, this ring of fire is asking you to do whatever it is that you need to do to tie up loose ends. Now is the time to make a change or to accept the change that's coming and accept it all with um, the attitude of gratitude so that you can manifest for the long term. This is a new moon that's popping up here, guys. So we do all of our brand new wishes and manifestations at the new moon time frame, okay? The dark of the moon, where it's just you and the universe, okay? So let us get the cards, Zuriel, for our Libras for past to current, and thank you. <laughs> okay, so past to current energy, Libra, what we have is the Queen of Wands. This is the entrepreneurial spirit, the Queen of Wands. She is absolutely my favorite queen in the entire deck. I think I've mentioned that before. She is extremely passionate. She knows what she wants. She knows how to go after it and get it. She puts the actual work into getting it, and she is setting herself up with this entrepreneurial energy to create what it is that she wants. The beautiful thing about the Queen of Wands is that she is extremely kind with her passion, okay? Um, willing to dote on other people, all right? However, this is an opportunity I see coming up for you to stay clear 
and focused about what that goal is and know that whatever change you're going through, your body is safe and loved. Whatever change you're going through, your body is safe and loved. Now I'm going to move these over for just a second and I'm going to pull the White Sage Tarot deck here just to see what other energies we can pull out for Libra. Recent past to current, like I said, this is 6-6. Six, six. Um, as I'm recording and attempting to upload today, but um, the remainder of the energies are for next week. So let's see exactly where we're at. Where are we at with our Libras here with this entrepreneurial energy with this Queen of Wands? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Archangels are real. All right. First card out. Strength card. You have what it takes in order to do and create whatever it is that you want. There's tremendous healing that's coming your way so that you can take advantage of those energies the queen wants to be able to bring forward. And again, um, please don't get stressed out about the genders in the cards. They are the natural masculine and or feminine aspect of one's self. The queens are the creators. The kings are the actual doers. But this is the reason why she's my favorite is because she actually starts to get the job done. She actually digs in those trenches to make it happen. Yes, you are strong enough to have gone through whatever change this was that was coming through from this moon energy. And you dropped something with these two of pentacles in the reverse position, meaning something was no longer for you. You were uh, uh, apprised of that particular situation. The moon energy is very feminine energy it's about your emotions it's about your subconscious but it is very involved with creativity so you are strong enough um from the past up into this particular moment as i'm reading this and recording this to be able to have discerned what this moon energy um and i'm getting the sagittarius energy that was here that full eclipse something needed to leave that's what the eclipses are about and you made the decision um uh, uh, or are in the recipient of the position of something needed to be dropped in order for that change to happen, which is in its best and highest good for you to be left as a queen in that area. So we are going to go through with the angel therapy deck here and see what other information our Libras need to have with regards to this queen of wands, the strength card, the moon card, and this two of pentacles in reverse. Thank you, angels. Mm. All right, there it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have you asked your angels for help with this? Okay, so if you are still struggling with something that has presented itself to you and you are not the dynamic factor in making this change that happened, okay? If you didn't ask for this pentacle to drop, however it came to your being, if you are still struggling with that information, the angels want to remind you that you can call on them at any point to step in and intervene, but they cannot do it without you asking. This is a free will planet. You must be very clear and state to your angels that you want them to be able to step in on your behalf of XYZ situation. That's all you need to do. It doesn't have to be some long drawn out ceremony, although those are beautiful when you do. Um, but the at, at the end of the day, they just want you to say, I need help angels and I'm willing for you to step in to take care of this situation for me and then back off and let them do the work okay they really want to tag in and they really want to help you so what they're asking you to do is invite them in so that they can interview and intervene on your behalf so we're going to put these ones here off to the side and we're going to grab in a little bit of focus for this upcoming week okay of course libras you have a natural angel archangel zuriel will very clearly step forward they already know all the things that are going on they've got lots of teams on the sides ready to tag in right you just have to ask and then they will start making the things happen for you all right zuriel let us go ahead and pull the week of the 7th through the 12th uh, through that weekend energy for our libras thank you very much <sighs> libra sun moon and rising week of the 7th through the 12th give me the card for that particular monday whatever happened oh do we have all of them at once yes monday tuesday wednesday okay um sorry what i was getting ready to say is whatever was going on with pluto with renewal and transformation that started back in april with saturn asking you to really be in your commitment about what that change was and then again with mercury wanting you to step back and review those different types of things so that you could feel comfortable with it you're, you're now in the midst of it thank you that's the thursday energy okay 
Okay. Ah, sorry about that. Got two bonus cards. Those are the ones that we want. Okay. So technically the Thoth deck is not meant to be read um, per se in the reverse position. So we are going to do clarifiers on all of these. There is an extra weekend card that is here. The first card that we get is titled Prudence. And this is the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Discs. This is the energy of um, Sun in... Uh, is it Scorpio? Virgo. No, this is Earth and Energy. So this is um, the Sun in Virgo. Prudence. The Eight of Discs. Work. Okay? Something with regards to work. All right? Um, showing up and presenting itself on Monday. On Tuesday, we have the Major Arcana of the Fool Energy. Are you ready to jump all up, all in? This Uranus Aquarian Energy that steps through. This is Base Chakra. Okay? Whew. I'm sorry, I was just posing, pausing for a minute so that I could really try to get down to the nubs of this particular piece here because the Fool wants you to be able to start a new journey, okay? The Fool wants you to be able to step up and take advantage of these new energies. So if I see the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position, now sitting here with the Fool, also originally presented itself in the reverse position, the message is, if something is changing here from the work perspective, which is why the base shocker shows up here with your body is safe and loved, what is it that you've got going on here? Okay. Um, the fool really is associated with your fresh starts and change, but it is also about your individuality. So what is it that you need to be able to discern from these pentacles being the master of the craft or work that you may have a little bit of challenge with? Hmm. When we get into the energy of Wednesday, we have the major arcana of the Aeon. This is basically temperance showing up. The Aeon is the indicator of the universe actually doing some things behind the scenes at this particular moment. A little dab of this, a little dab of that, creating whatever it is that needs to be created for your best and highest good at this particular moment. This is a huge card, okay? So the temperance energy is also a healing card. It is the energy of Sagittarius. It's balance, it's patience, and it is healing. So whatever was eclipsed, there is some healing that is still um, taking place and going forward and will culminate, um, it looks like, on this particular Wednesday. Now, when we get to Thursday, when we get to the actual um, new moon, solar eclipse in Gemini, what's being eclipsed out is this Knight of Swords, is how I'm being able to describe it and as it's being described to me to tell you Whatever clarity you feel like you may not have had is being eclipsed out, okay? Clarity is coming for you. Just stay clear and focused. That's exactly what the angels are saying here when it comes to your spirituality, specifically if you've gone through some changes here that have affected your base chakra. Yes, you are a part of this earth, but you also always need to maintain your level of connection, whatever that is, to whoever is in your particular pantheon, okay? That is what seems to be being eclipsed out, was this lack of clarity. As we move over into this Friday, there is an ace of discs that's here. Are you willing to take a look at it? Are you willing to accept that this gift was something that needed to happen? Here's that two of coin again, that change. Are you willing to accept that this ace of coin, this brand new prosperous situation needed to occur um, with one of these discs falling away at some particular moment? So there's a lot of stuff to unpack here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave all of these in the upright position so that I can do the clarifiers on them and I will be cognizant of the dual messages that need to be presented as such, okay? Let's just put these back in order, except I'm leaving this little dude here. It is so important. Um, here we go. <sighs> this prudence energy for our Libra. What is going on that is affecting their craft or their ability to work? Give me a little bit of information and a little bit of advice on where that's at. Here we go. Monday for our Libras. not feeling very sunny about where your finances are currently with this upcoming change is what I'm being told to tell you. And this is a grip 
to go through, but it's actually meant for both days. Please help me clarify the breaking. <sighs> yeah. That's basically the bridge betwixt the two of them. There's a feeling, whatever, whatever, whatever this particular change was that had to happen. Um, if this card is in the reverse position, then what's going on is that there was this Knight of Swords energy, which is exactly the same one as here. There was a lack of information that was coming to you with regards to this work. There was a judgment that was potentially passed on you at that particular moment or a judgment call that you must make um, that is that is surfacing at this point. Because again, this energy is carrying through. This Queen of Swords is coming through with discernment, not necessarily using her heart, but she's using her head with clarity. And whatever the change is, is going to affect your world. You have unfinished business though, is, is, is what I'm seeing with this world in the upright position based on this situation. So it is definitely changing your world, but there's also some unfinished business. So utilizing this period of this solar eclipse coming up is, like I said, now's the time to make the change or accept the change. Cross everything off. Make sure that things are getting done. This is your opportunity and your, your forewarning at this particular moment. It's the bridge betwixt the two of them, but let's get into this fool energy. King of Cups, not being able to be in your emotional stability at that particular moment not emotionally stable, which is where this trepidation with the fool being in reverse originally comes from. Um, Seven of Swords, something having to have to do with this judgment card for sure, because something or someone was holding something close to the vest, or that is the potential of this upcoming energy. Now, the Seven of Swords is, Seven of Swords is not necessarily a sneaky card. It does mean that someone's holding something close to the vest. It can be you in the energy, okay? But it also can be somebody else that's holding something close. So it can be something that's a tiny piece of information. It doesn't have to be this massive crazy secret, but there is something that is there. However, what I find very interesting is that whatever this energy is, is the eight of swords is also now in the reverse position this mini devil energy this self-imposed limitation whatever it is you're going to be releasing yourself from that um or you're already starting to be within the process of releasing yourself from whatever was holding you back in order to take advantage of being this fool in this aquarian energy it definitely had something to do with the union it definitely had something to do with a Someone that you are very close to, potentially. Um, union cards come up when there is a, someone of like mind that had to ha that was in your energy. Um, when it is the Two of Cups, it is an emotional type of a union or bond. It can be husband, boyfriend. Um, husband, boyfriend. <laughs> it can be spouse or it can be just significant other. I'll just put it that way. But it also can be a, a partnership, someone that you would have been very, very close to. And the end all be all, like I said, was that it was affecting what you thought was going to be your, your, your king of pentacles, your stability in itself base chakra energy okay so that's the history of what you needed to be able to understand but again you know the reason why you watch tarot is so that you can help to sidestep a couple of landmines when you get an opportunity to do so now let's get into the messaging of what is going on with the aeon this temperance this magics that are happening behind the scenes for you okay all right temperance for our libra thank you yes tower moments Page of Cups, um, not quite ready to receive this new heartfelt situation that's coming through. High Priestess energy, though, using your discernment. So this Tower energy with this Page of Cups is something needed to fall. And so the Aeon perhaps is allowing an energy to be a little less severe of a change that they're trying to create. They're trying to create something for you so that it's not as harsh, I guess is the easiest way for me to say it. Eventually it will yield itself in the Page of Cups moment, but at the end of the day, if you still have work to do, if there was a tower moment that showed up for you in the past, they are trying to bring forth the, um, the they're trying to soften that for you a little bit. 
your high priestess mode is where you need to be focused on this particular Wednesday. It is that Virgo moon energy that is talking about epiphany and dharma. Okay, this is very much associated with your crown chakra and receiving information. So they are trying to soften up from the best that I can see a little bit of detail coming through for you to validate or excuse me to verify and, and, and be assured that you're going to receive that clarity that you need. But don't second guess yourself when it comes to those different types of details coming through. Okay, Libra, you know better. You know that when this happens, you're very conscious and aware of what it is. They said, go one more. Okay. Ah! Here we go. How do you want me to lay these out? Okay, so these will be for this section, and you want me to... The, okay, I got it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's just put those off to the side real quick. Yes. <laughs> something happened wherein you needed to be in the Ten of Wands moment, recognizing that you had to let something go or something will be let go. Um, it will put you back into the Queen of Cups moment, being able to have graduated from this page into this queen who now has accepted that information and is able to counsel other people um, so that you can be assured of your Ten of Cups moment coming through and no longer being in this confusing standpoint of the Seven of Cups. All these multiple options that were there, there is one thing that is coming towards you and that is the thing that you should be focused on at that particular moment. That is why the eclipse is coming through to remove this Knight of Swords in the reverse position so that you can receive that ultimate end-all, be-all clarity. What we have here is one um, of the Nine of Wands. Um, if you felt like you were spiritually not ready to take this next step, that is also being removed from you with this eclipse period, okay? This Page of Wands energy that you didn't feel that you had this entrepreneurial energy to match up with this Queen of Wands detail, it's coming through. You're going to see the spark. These other two cards are meant for each one of these areas here. So, again, this Ace is coming back in with this fool saying there is something brand new for you. There are gifts that are coming in for you to allow you to now take advantage of this fool energy one more time showing up on the board. And that this two of pentacles that was here may have had to do with you removing yourself or be aware of some additional conflict that what was taking place that you weren't necessarily feeling as though you could get past. Um... And even if it was internal emotional conflict, as much as it was with other people, the two of two of discs saying it it was necessary. Something had to drop so that it wouldn't affect you um, in your thought process anymore. I want one more on the fool, please, with this ace of discs. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. Two of Swords energy. There was a tough decision that was made, um, and it has to do with trans transformation. And you have to be able to accept that this trans this transformation had to happen. You are being asked to accept the change, all up, all in. Whatever had to happen, whatever this particular scenario is for you, it had to happen, and you cannot resist it. Okay, we're going to take one more on this Death card, please. <clears throat> You've got to be able to accept it so that you can move forward with ease and grace yeah um as you go in and you are in this hermit mode again with this major virgo energy you're going to be able to recognize at some point so this energy is just kind of like it's spinning it depends upon where you're at in your particular part of your journey right now this ace of discs it ha this is actually really good energy it's asking you to accept that things had to happen so that you could take this change that's basically what it boils down to. And I find this very, very beautiful energy. Um, Scorpio, Virgo energy um, potentially is a part of what is in your chart, um, potentially. Um, do not resist what the universe wants to be able to bring you as the ultimate end-all be-all here. Accept the changes that had to happen. Please give me another card on this Five of Wands. Thank you. Star card. Yep. You called something into your existence. You asked for it, and now it is here. But what you want is not only going to be able to restore you mentally and physically, you're going to be able to take advantage of this page of wands momentum that's going to come through this brand new thing and the spiritual guidance that's coming through. I'm going to turn these around so that you can appreciate it in this in this upright fashion. If you the universe is removing this 
inability to be clear, this clarity that wants to be here. This Nine of Wands is actually a very spiritual card. It means you are absolutely on the right path and you've got one more in you. They're going to give it to you. They're going to give you this new spark, this new page of wands that wants to show up. So that lack of clarity, like I said, is what's eclipsing out of your world here. They said that is enough on that particular tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the Angel Oracle here and see what messages they want to bring forward before I finalize and cap this off with the Sacred Geometry content, okay? Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Libra. Sun, Moon are rising through the 12th. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two more shuffles. They said, all right, no worries. We got you. That's a lot. And it's not actually, you know, <laughs> I expected there to be a lot more content like this. A little, uh, these, these, many people are going to be going through heavier readings um, this particular week. But this is what is going on with the universe at this particular moment. It is, again, like I said, accepting all of the different things that you've been set up for and forewarned about. Yeah, fool, inner child, um, uh, since April. So inner child healing that comes through is something that is some is something that they're telling you that you can take advantage of um inner child healing has a lot to do with just making sure that you you actually have a guardian angel that's with you and this guardian angel is wrapping their arms around you to nurture you and to your inner child but the other thing that they're asking you to do is take the advantage of seeing the changes that are happening with you right now or the things that are happening with childlike enthusiasm you know what I mean? And if you can do that, what is one of the things that you could be able to do to express yourself? Page of Wands. The beginning of new expression of physically doing something at this particular moment. Ace of Discs. Um, the very beginnings of being able to um, have new seeds that are starting to sprout. You get to be Jack on that Beanstalk, like <laughs> kind of rising with it. It's time for your inner child to be healed, right? You can't tell yourself that you're too old to do something or accept this change. Whatever is happening for you is happening for you for a very specific reason. So if you understand how to do shadow work or inner healing, just, you know, just think about yourself. Think about where you were when you were, I don't know, eight years old. Let's just pick eight years old. Can you imagine giving your eight-year-old self a hug and say, you know what, you're going to go through some stuff, but you're absolutely going to be okay? That is what it means to kind of get down to the, to, the, to the nubs of doing that type of work. And it's beautiful when you can sit down in meditation and you can say, angels help me, you know, heal my inner child. They're already here with you, but they want to bring something towards you with this, um, like I said, this youthful enthusiasm. So, Hertz music to take advantage of, 174 Hertz. My body is safe and loved, right? That is the name of the card. My body is safe, loved, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. Hello. Woo. My body is loved, safe, and secure. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. My body is safe, secure, and loved. I am free of physical pain and release all negative karmic and emotional energy that has surrounded it. And so it is. Okay. Using specific frequencies, especially when you're doing those mantras, really helps to like like broadcast it out in a, uh, in a in a louder volume is basically what that boils down to, okay? Pain, especially the pain of heart or change of changing of a lifestyle, um, whether it be a job or a change in a diet or any of those different types of things, any wellness program is going to be beneficial for you at this particular moment to help you with that particular energy of change. Um, yoga, walking, meditation, regularly grounding yourself in nature is going to be something that you need to be able to do to help support that healing for yourself. So if you're taking a walk, you can listen to this Hertz music, um, any type of those types of physical activities. In order to love yourself with this child healing um, that needs to happen, rose quartz, aquamarine, aquamarine, excuse me, selenite, fluorite, malachite, green calcite, hematite, sugalite, um, celestite, a Vogel wand, Boji stones, tiger's eye, lodestone, shungite, and smoky quartz. All of those things are going to be available as resources to you to help am amplify that even more um, to bring in the quickness of 
quickness, speed, yes, <laughs> quickness or speed of these uh, uh, healings that are available to you, okay? And then the clarity card that comes through here, there is a mantra that is associated with this, so I will read it three times to activate it for you. The clouds of confusion clear. The star lights my way. Can I just, can I just do this? Can I just share this with you? The star lights my way. Hello? This, you can't make this stuff up, you guys. I mean, synchronicity all over this place. The clouds of confusion clear. The star lights my way. The clouds of confusion clear. The star lights my way. This is sacred geometry that's sitting right here, okay? Um, this is the eight-pointed star, which is symbolic of as above, so below. And as you stare into the star, clar clarity and focus will be enhanced. So if you need to take a photo of this card because you don't have a lot of crystals, then please do that so that you can, you can look at it. This is also a representation to the Merkaba, which is eight points or vertices. And the Merkaba brings mind, body, and spirit back into harmony. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and a little bit foggy, make sure that you're taking some time out to reflect and clear your mind. You can simply just close your eyes and focus on the star in the card or place it on your third eye. Um, I don't know if I'd want to do that if I had a phone, but <laughs> you could print it out if you wanted to do that um, if you don't already have one. And allow your intuition to continue to step itself up and graduate, right? Um, bringing you that clarity. Five to ten minutes of every, of, uh, uh, every single day will help to like really boost that. And then if you want to take advantage of some crystal medicine outside of just healing of the heart for this inner child, the clarity that will be sodalite, apophyllite, herkimer diamond, and also selenite. So selenite is common between the two of them, and it's fairly inexpensive. You can get it for most crystal shops between 3 and 15, 20, depending on how big you want the piece to be. Um, but it's very, very clearing and very, very healing. Okay, Libra, that is what I have for you from now up until the 12th. Um, I am very excited to see what's going to happen. For many of you, this clarity that's going to come forward is going to naturally bring this eclipse natural enthusiasm, uh, energetic enthusiasm with that healing of the child. The confusion that shows up um, that you clear now will not be as impactful for you at the end of the month if you can take advantage because when... Neptune goes into retrograde it's kind of like a second opportunity to clear the rest of the plate whatever you can get done now is going to be softened by the time we get to the end of the month but you're going to be in really great hands so make sure that you like share and subscribe so that you can be apprised of any net new content that comes through I really appreciate you stepping back forward I really really do um, I'm honored for all the support with all the new subscribers that I have that is what I have for you stay tuned for more Bye for now.